what's up okay so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna train our own style model uh, unlike my previous tutorial which we use the subject we're actually gonna do something a bit different today we're gonna train a model using the astro ai and uh, we're gonna use images that uh, we've created in mid-journey uh, in order to create a consistent style and try to make something uh, unique. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So here we are in Estria. What we need to do now is we need to create a new fine tune. We're gonna give it a title and here, uh, unlike in the previous tutorial where I showed you uh, you need to write woman, man, dog, which was a subject train model. Here we are training it to be a style train model. So I'm gonna write style. Just another quick tip. I usually like to keep my uh, prompts consistent. I like to use the token SKS. So in a matter of style, sometimes the token can be different. It could be UKJ, but I like to keep it SKS. So I wrote, I press the advanced button and now I'm changing the token to SKS to keep it the way I like it. If we are already here, I can tell you that uh, we can train based on different stable diffusion models. Um, I currently think that this one, the 1.5, is the best one to train for people, for faces. I actually haven't tried other ones for style, but uh, please feel free to test different ones and write me in the comments if you feel there are some different interesting results you want to share, some insights. Now I'm gonna add my images. Okay, so this is a folder which I prepared already using Midjourney with different images of fish. Let me show you. These are just different images. Okay, there's a very important thing to understand about uh, training a model. First of all, you're not training a model from scratch. You're obviously, as I showed you, you are using uh, the 1.5 in this case as a base model. And another important thing to understand is that the model you're going to train, even though it's a style model, the subjects in the model are actually going to uh, to influence your results. And uh, after we'll train the model, uh, I'll run a couple of tests and I'll show you what, what I mean. So in this case, I used only fish, but it doesn't have to be this way. Uh, it's Actually, it's even recommended that when you train a style model, um, you prepare images of different subjects that you know you want to include in your final uh, product, whether it's images or video. Okay, so I'm going to upload the images and press create. Okay, once it's upload, we're going to have uh, an estimation, in this case 20 minutes. I'll pause the recording and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so our model is ready. Let's run a few tests. As you can see, I'm using the token I chose and I'm starting with something really expected. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I ran a few tests. What I wanted to show you is that Remember when we upload the images, I said that the content of the images also influence the style and not just the style itself. Uh, what I meant is that the model tends to be biased. If I only uploaded images of fish, then uh, different uh, prompts will give me different results, but they will always tend to be more fish oriented in this case. And I'll show you what I mean. Uh, this is like a very simple example. Uh, I gave it a prompt of fish swimming in the ocean. This is exactly what the images that I uploaded contain. So the result is quite predictable. But here I gave it a prompt of people dancing in the street. And you can see people dancing in the street, but you can also see a lot of fish in the street, <laughs> which I didn't mention in the prompt but again it's the model uh, it's biased towards fish in this case 
This is the prompt of a building in New York. Again, fish all around. Uh, I think it's cute actually. I think besides the fact that uh, I get to have a consistent style, I also get to have like a motive in the artwork. Here it was something quite different, a robot eating pancakes, SKS style. Um, I think this is actually quite interesting because there is nothing similar to a robot in the images I upload and uh, these are quite interesting results. And here again, flower. <laughs> so, a few flowers here and there, but mostly fish. Okay, so this is it. Um, feel free to uh, write me a comment if you have any questions or something uh, you want to share. I'll be more than happy to see some examples of uh, models you've trained and your uh, results. So uh, feel free to send me a link and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers. Cheers.